What's up, good one season? What's up, good one season? Yes, sir. We are back with another video. Back, back with another video. What's up? All right, y'all. So, as y'all can see today, by the title, this is like a somewhat of a hair tutorial. Uh, be showing y'all how to how I get my hair cut and how I do my hair. Yes, I do cut my own hair majority of the time. Uh, some of the times I do let people cut me during the season, but that's very rare. So I'll be showing y'all a few of the products that I'm using. Uh, the girls will be probably in and out. Marae trying to beat me up. <laughs> if you're new to this channel, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like and comment down below throughout this video. Let us know y'all tuned in. And you already know what time it is, baby. It's going season. Let's go. Love, 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 love. Love chases fear away. Chases fear away. Yeah, it has to be love. Love, love, love. Between you and me. Between you and me. Yeah. All right, y'all. Now that the girls are out of here, I can get down to business. But before I start, let me um, ask, do any of y'all cut y'all's on here? Are any of y'all familiar with clipper brands, um, how to fade your hair, how to edge up your hair, and all of that? Interact down below in the comment section right now, let me know. If not, I'll be explaining a few of the things that I do um you know while i cut my hair while showing you a few of the things that i like to use or a few of the items that i like to use when i cut my hair these are nothing real fancy you can get these at any hair store um these are some ulster i like these these are pretty professional they got the exchangeable blades on them i use these have been since college so same with the andy fades um this is, gives you a nice even fade and then this is what i use the t outliner for my sharp edge and some of the products that i use uh before i even get started so i use the dis disinfectant spray obviously to get my clippers right even though i've only been using them and then i like to use this cool lube as well also forgot to show y'all a few of the guards that i'm using today just some bars that'll help you stay on track so you don't cut too much of your hair off. Yes, sir. And a couple pins just for my hair to pin it up. And a mirror is not All right, so before I get started, uh, this brand that I worked with, I did a little campaign with back uh, during the Super Bowl weekend called Manscaped. I really like this these products because it's just good products for men that I you know feel like a lot of men should have. So. Um, right here is a product that I haven't used out of the bag yet, but it's called um, the Foot Duster. It's an antifungal foot deodorant. I don't really need it. My foot doesn't really sweat too much. And I have a lot of shoes that I kind of rotate, so I've really never had a problem within my shoes. But if you do, that's just something that you could just spray. Um, another product, <laughs> and this is ball deodorant. <laughs> it's like a little cream. Uh, it says with active pH control. Um, so this will help with that pH. You know, some of y'all got that them little sweaty Jones. So make sure they, they get clean and get right. So, you know, had a clean feeling. Um, the Crop Reviver. Haven't used this yet. Don't really know what it's for. I haven't read the bottle, but oh, it's, it's a toner and a refresher. So I think I'm gonna use this today, probably after my haircut. And this is a hair and body wash. Give y'all one more view. All right, y'all. So the only reason I'm really cutting my hair today is because my sister's birthday is coming up and we are surprising her with a surprise birthday party. Anybody that know me knows how much I love my sister Deja and know that I do anything for her. So I was going to try to not shave See how long I could go, but only made it about two weeks. No shave, so I probably have to wait until November to try it again. But her birthday is coming up, so I gotta make sure your boy looking good. I gotta make sure I do my hair. So I'm gonna take these twists out. I wash my hair, comb it out, curl it up, and I'll show y'all this whole process. So I need 
Mm, 500 likes below and I'll drop another one. 500 likes below on this video and I'll drop another hair video, another tutorial just for y'all. All right, y'all, so about to get started on my hair. Start with these bad boys first. And I like to exchange the guard to a zero just so I can get a nice low fade. So what I like to do is I like to, oh, I gotta put my hair up, two seconds. All right, now that I got my hair up, I wanna kinda comb the sides out so I can get an even fade. And y'all see my hair is pretty coiled. It's dry right now. Usually I like to wash my hair before I cut it, but you know, I wanted to show y'all the difference in the look of my hair. Usually I like to wear the MG brand, but today I'm repping Nike. You know, a sponsor, have been a sponsor of mine for the past eight years, seven years in the league. Also sponsored with Trap, but I don't get paid too much from Trap. But <clears throat> usually I like to wear MG, rocking them today. Get this, and I like to just draw my line of the bottom of my fade. So you can start at like the ear. I like to get it like right above the ear. Then I like to come back to the other side and do the same thing just so I can be consistent. And I'm not a professional barber by any means. But I do know how to cut my hair good enough to where I don't have to pay anybody. <clears throat> Unless it's a special occasion and I, I feel like paying somebody to do it. There we go. Okay. So now y'all see. And I like to use a comb most of the time as opposed to a brush because I feel like I get a more even comb. I'm gonna keep my fade lower today. So it's gonna be more of a taper just because I'm trying to grow all of this back out. All right, so now that I got all I need out of my zero guard for right now, I'm gonna switch this back to get my one guard. While I cut, I'm gonna just talk a little bit about Deja. Um, Deja, she was born September 17th, and she is 10 months younger than I am. For those of you who haven't followed our story and don't know her, she was born with cerebral palsy and she's never walked a day in her life. I'm trying to surprise her because I love her and she's my sister, but I'm surprising her because this is the first time that I've been able to be home for her birthday. As in, you know, not, from fo not in football, not dealing with anything. So my first time being in Dallas and I'm excited that I get to spend it with Deja. So, y'all be tuned in. We'll be posting this on the blog, on the channel. We got a lot in store for her. She's gonna be turned up. I'm excited. I'm excited to see everybody though. We got a one and a half go up. I won't get super detailed right now. I'm just trying to get the gist of the haircut kind of lined up. And then I'll get in there, I'll dive in and get the fade exactly how I want it. I'll get details in a little bit. Check the side up. Like I said, I'm trying to keep the fade low. I don't want to go too high. That's what I mean by low. I'm going to try to fade down here in this area and keep this dark. I've been liking that look for a while. Take this step one and a half guard. I'm going to put the one guard back on just so I can get a little lower. Right here. You see? Get more of like a little blend, kind of like this side. It's getting lower now. Get a little bit of fade if you turn the clippers over and fade this way. It'll kind of get closer to the skin and it'll be easier for a blend. You see that? How I kind of blended it in there a little better? Talking about this part, that little line that you would see. 
All right, so now I've kinda got like my haircut built up, what I like to say sometimes. I, I couldn't think of nothing else. I'm gonna go ahead and get these Andes to uh, to fade me up. So yeah, some cool lube, some oil. But yeah, so I've been asking Deja what you want for a birthday for years and she always say pizza or it don't matter, whatever you wanna get. And so I had to send my mama to ask, you know, what she would want for her birthday. And out of all the things in the world, can y'all guess what she said that she wanted? <laughs> I want y'all to guess. I ain't even gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna show y'all in the video when we surprise her for her birthday. What I'm doing with the, uh, the fader is just now going over what I just did with the other, other clipper. And I'm just blending it in, getting more precise. So I got it on zero right now to where I can just get all of this extra from when I took the zero guard on the other, other clipper and started to fade. I want to kind of clean that up a little bit just so I can kind of separate my, my fade. But haircut is almost done because there's not too much to it. I do this so often, it don't take that long. And I like these because they're magnetic. So it's very hard to lose these. As you can imagine, man, we like to lose a lot of stuff. So that's perfect for us. So I put the guard on. See, I put the guard on and I got it on the highest setting. I always start high and go low. You don't want to start too low and then be having to design a whole new haircut. So you at home cutting your hair. Don't be afraid, man. I, I done messed my hair up plenty times when I was younger, in middle school, high school. Just didn't have a bread to go out and get cut, so make it do what it do. I had to cut my hair while overseas completely track. I had to make some stuff shake, so it pays to be able to do your own hair. Whoa, now. Whoa, now you're looking like some. You're looking like some. Y'all don't mind me, I be talking to myself. My mom, what's up, baby? Daddy in here sweating. You sweating? Hot. These clippers get hot. Mm. Looking good already. Mm-hmm. Now I'm on the other side. I'm just doing a little bit because you ain't trying to cut that off. Right. You want to talk to the people? It's grown. My hair? Yeah. Yeah, it's grown. In a week's time. <laughs> Ooh, hold on. You're right here without the time. Uh -oh. Blow out. I can't wait for y'all to see the finished product. It's the first time in a while that I've actually faded my hair. It's been a while. I really ain't had nowhere to go. Been quarantined, been in the house. I'm gonna get faded for <laughs> Mary. <laughs> what are you getting faded for, bro? I'm sweating, bro. Damn, it's hot. <sighs> but you ain't trying to turn on the AC? Man, let her do my edge up one time in the back. He said, you cannot go over the edge of that bush. <laughs> and the rest was history. I did not know. So 
mid haircut I had to stop just so I could get my hair taken out before I finish my haircut. Uh, Ray is getting impatient. Boy, it is hard to get stuff done without with having a baby. Yes, it is. We have to take turns. An active to, baby. We have to figure it out most times. It's crazy. Especially if she's hungry or sleepy. All right, y'all can see my hair is now taken down from the little twists. Yeah, twist out. Twist out. All right, so now that my hair is taken out, I had to come up with a plan, y'all. So y'all won't have to experience the break, but I'm going to actually finish this tomorrow because I'm going to have to wash my hair and it's going to have to dry um, before I can actually like edge it up. So I need to... Take some time <laughs> and it's gonna take like it's gonna take like probably close to an hour for my hair or an hour and a half for my hair to dry out all the way i got so much hair and i gotta comb it out and wash it so y'all won't even experience this break but yeah i'll be right back cap take that back let me go ahead and do my face because i like to edge up my face so I can scrub it when I get in the shower. So while I'm washing my hair and everything, it'll already be done. It'll already be done. And that way I can just this girl home. massage my face. Shirt it all, I'm leaking. All right. All right, y'all. We, we out of here. We'll oh. see y'all tomorrow. I need some, some lube. She home. And All right, peace. All right, baby. You gonna have your husband back soon? So, dang, this gross. This really like makes up the bulk of my hair, like my haircut. If this is clean, I look like a totally different person. I've been trying to grow a beard since high school and God, for whatever reason, just don't want me to have a beard. I always thought like, that's the only thing I'm missing in the world. I got nice chocolate skin. I got nice white teeth. I have nice thick black hair. <sighs> the only thing I'm missing is a beard. Like if I get a beard, I feel like a beard is makeup for, for men. Like, not that I want to, you know, put on makeup or anything, but it's just, you know, just have a little something extra to work with. Still got this wannabe. Or the challenge, I should say. But yeah. Could rock the goatee, what y'all think? Nope, this don't connect. That's poo. These are the same edges that I use to outline my hair. Ooh. See, when I don't have no facial hair, my teeth just automatically look better. My smile look better. Face just look, you know what I'm saying, younger. All right. good ah. all right so next i'm gonna wash my hair and i'll tap back in with y'all afterwards all right so y'all can see that i now have washed my hair and it's in its natural state it's a lot more coarse and dry but you can see like you can see my fade a little better um just because 
got rid of a lot of the top. And so all I have left, usually I would trim this down just you know to define my edge, uh, this hair right here, but uh, <clears throat> I kind of been letting it grow out just so it can grow back into it. Cause I'm thinking I'm gonna do something different, style something different with my hair. But uh, yeah, so all we got left to do is to edge our hair up. So I'm gonna put some lube on these clippers to make sure that they sound in the right way, all oiled up. And then we're gonna edge and we're gonna put the products in our hair. When I'm edging, I go over it two different times, but I like to comb it out, comb the sides out. Listen after I spray. I like that sound. It's one and a half bar, y'all. And this will give me more of an even cut that I'm looking for. I know in the beginning I said that I wanted to keep it light at the bottom. I mean, like a taper at the bottom, but Change my mind. I'll be swimming this week, so I want it to look like I still have a haircut after I swim. And I like to use like this half of the, the clipper for the edge. Make sure that face is smooth so it'll make my fade look better. My it's kind of LeBron in up here. So, I like to keep it light. All right, see my hair, it's natural, dry, boom. All right, haircut almost over. So all we gotta do now, get a little spritz. This is what I like to do. I like to get a little, a little bit of this spritz. And you can, ah, a little jammed up. And I just like to lay them edges down with it so I can get those fly hairs. You know those hairs that be stuck or sticking up, looking crazy. So what this spritz will do is help lay all of that down so you can max out your edge up. So we're gonna let this sit for about 30 seconds. And then we're gonna edge it up and get it sharp. All right, y'all. So it is dry and I'm gonna get close up. Yes, y'all see. And so for this next part, I'm gonna get a little closer just so y'all can see how I really like edge my hair. So I'm looking in this mirror that I have set off to the side. And I just tilt those clippers a certain angle. You gotta make sure that angle is right. And people be like, man, how, how, how you get it so sharp? Yeah, this is how. We finna be Steve Harvey status, baby. That's how I get it sharp right there, ladies and gentlemen. Hey, here come the ladies, speaking of. What's up, Boomer Season? Breakfast is ready. Breakfast ready? Mm -hmm. Y'all wondering, That's you. I know they probably wondering like, all right, I did the front, how you gonna do the back? Don't worry. Cause I take this here, and I just look, use a dual mirror. All right, yeah, it's easy, it's easy to say, how you gonna do it? And this, 
You really just gotta be coordinated for this. I think cutting my hair, I'll probably say, mm, about, I'd say $2,000 a year. Just think about it. If I get my hair cut every week and my hair cut is $100, $100 a week, for let's say 20 weeks. Football season, it's $2,000. All right, so now we apply. What are we applying? So this is what I put in my hair, y'all. So when y'all see it curled up or coiled up, whatever you want to call it, Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. It's for strengthening and restoring. And apply like this much into your hands. And you just massage it into your hair. All right, so. So y'all can see, so I'm, applying, I'm applying different amounts. Um, may have gotten some areas, and areas that you know are very dry and maybe have been damaged. Show a little more extra care to that area. Make sure you get even the size that you faded. You wanna make sure that part is hydrated too, because what you don't wanna have is some nice hydrated top. And then the side is just, super dry, nappy, don't match. So you want your hair to match. And y'all see my hair is already starting to get nourished. Y'all see it. Y'all see it. Love, 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 love.